I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> Guys, philosophical psychology. I'm not kidding. Don't do it. So good, but so bad. I'm questioning everything in my life. I was going to come home. Have a shower, get all nice and dressed up, and go to the train station to meet my boyfriend. But why? Is it free will? Is it is it that I, I choose to do all those things to be more presentable and all that? Or 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 from or from the beginning, from right at the beginning. Was this the plan? Was this what was meant to happen? I don't know what's free will and what's not anymore. <laughs> Seriously, I, I was sat there in the lecture like... Because inside my head all I can think about is my guinea pig. The lecturer asked, does anyone have a guinea pig? I was like, yeah! Would you say it's intelligent? It squeaks. It squeaks when it's hungry. It squeaks when it wants water or food. Does that make it intelligent? Because it still squeaks when there's water and food in there. When my guinea pig sister died... When my guinea pig sister died... She didn't give a fuck. <laughs> she, she got on with everything. Everything. As if it didn't even matter. Does that mean she's so unintelligent that she can't comprehend death? Or is she so intelligent that she understands death more and because of that she's not afraid of it and she's not sad at her sister dying because she understands death more? But then if that's the case, then... Why do guinea pigs cry when they're getting attacked and killed? I suppose it could be because of the pain. Maybe they don't like the pain but death doesn't scare them. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? This has ruined me. This has ruined me. I lost my keys. I was just going to find them, but... Why did I lose my keys? I didn't choose to lose my keys. Like, does that mean that I was always meant to lose my keys today? Or maybe... Maybe it's my free will that I have developed clumsiness. So, because of free will, I lost my keys. <laughs> and if I'm clumsy, if I'm clumsy, is that biological? Or is it in the mind? Like. Is my mind clumsy or is it the chemicals in my body that have given me a bad memory that mean that I am clumsy and I forget things and I misplace things and this lecture is fucking awesome I love it so much not even done my hair I usually do my hair and makeup before I go on these videos but no not today Not even Friday the 13th. It's Friday the 27th. When's next Friday the 13th? The last lecture is Friday the 13th. Day of hell. I'm meant to be leaving to go and meet my, my boyfriend in an hour and a half. I don't think I can. But why am I meeting him? Well, so he can get back here. But is, is, is that free will? I could tell him to get a taxi. Do I want to go meet him at the station because I'm a romantic bitch? Or. 
I was always predetermined that I would go meet him at the station. And there's nothing I can do about it. How? How can a one hour, one and a half hour lecture change my view on everything? I've realised I don't know myself at all. I don't know what I believe. I don't know what I don't believe. I need to get my life together. I need to get my life together. Is it free will that I chose to do that on camera? Or was it always predetermined that I would drink on camera? Leave it tropical. Sparkling brush. As the chosen for you. What has to do a chosen for you range? Was it free will to offer, you know, people who prefer to buy cheaper food or of still good quality? Did they choose to make it for that sort of people or did they just was it always predetermined they would do it? Does this bottle have a mind? That was just an introduction session. It wasn't even concentrated, like it wasn't on concentrated subject. It was a view of everything. Everything. And look at me. Look at me. Did I choose to dye my hair? Yes, I did. But why? I was sat on the bus, coming back, just like with all of this, all of this shit going on in my head, and I was looking at the grass, as in the grass that grows on the lawn. Now, why did I feel like I had to give you a description of the grass? Was that free will? Because I think some of you won't get like me, or some of you think it's other grass, or some of you not know what grass is. Or was I always predetermined that I would do that? But no, I would look at the grass. And I just noticed how green it is. I was thinking, that's got a photosynthesis. You know, they absorb all shit. And then I realised, wait, is it photosynthesis? Is it, you know, the consciousness of the grass that chooses to do that? Or is it the biological function of the grass to do it? Like, if I'm hungry, because I am quite hungry, you know, is it my mind telling my body, or what well, is it my mind just... Is it my mind, you know, saying I'm hungry, and so that it's my mind controlling if I eat? Or is it that my body wants more nutrition so it can function better? Or is it both? What if it's both? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I meant to do my laundry, I meant to find my keys, I meant to have a shower, which I no, I will not have fucking time for. It's my first time having well, second time having a shower since I dyed my hair, so I was hoping to, because I don't want to get blue all over my pillow again tonight. But but <sighs> I actually have a headache due to confusion. Is it my mind? like saying it's confused or is it that the chemicals I'm releasing due to how I am feeling is it, is it that causing the headache? is it just an re emotional response? you see I think emotional responses are one of the things that connect mind and body like if I'm upset or stressed, stressed, let's go for stressed alright if I'm stressed out you know it's soon due to something mental, like say I'm worried about an exam I've got, say I'm fucking worried about philosophical psychology I've got this week, I fucking am! Then, you know, is that that's the mind? Is it the mind? And then there's a chemical response that causes me to sweat or any other reactions of stress when my heart beats quicker. Right, right, right. I love, I, I loved today's lecture it was incredible do philosophical psychology do it do it but you might go mad 
I haven't stopped thinking about all the stuff, which is a good term to use, all the stuff since I started, never mind since I finished, I was uh, sat there like, oh my god. What is love? What is hate? Do I choose to, like, do I, is it my free will to fall in love? Do I, like, or is it like a chemical thing? Is it like a release of stuff? Am I predetermined that I will fall in love? Or maybe I'm predetermined I won't fall in love? Why do I have favourite foods? Why can't I find my keys? Why are the people outside so fucking noisy? Seriously, seriously, seriously. You know, I, I don't I don't smoke weed. But I was walking to uni today and I walked past these two fellas and they both felt very strongly of it. And then sat in my lecture, like, you know, looking back. It was a mind fuck enough for me and I was I'm sober. So if, if they had come and they had been in that lecture, don't smoke weed and do psychology, guys. <laughs> Those guys are lucky enough they don't do psychology, so they can go smoke weed. But I would not risk it. I I don't I don't smoke weed. Is that a free will? Is that could you know? Is it my free will that I don't smoke weed? Like because you know I don't want to because I it's legal or is it predetermined that I wouldn't smoke weed? Is it my mind and my body telling me not to smoke weed? <laughs> I keep thinking about more and more things. More and more more and more fucking things. <laughs> I've never ever felt so much in my life. But it feels so good. <laughs> Uh, the things that usually bother me, they don't bother me because I'm thinking so much about this right now. Right, right now. Right now. <sighs> you know, I never thought about if a door had the consciousness before, but now I wonder. A part of me thinks, you know, the tree has a consciousness. And then once the tree is killed to make it to a door, that the conscious leaves the tree. It doesn't stop it existing, it leaves the tree. That that was that was my view. But now I'm wondering if that door has a consciousness. Like maybe it does have a consciousness, but it's just not the same consciousness we have. Maybe it has so little consciousness that we can't register that it has consciousness. Or maybe it has such a high consciousness that we don't notice that it has consciousness. I've never felt dumb than a door before, but I think it's actually smarter than me. I think it's got higher conscious and higher intelligence. I think that shit's dangerous. Like I, I genuinely think, you know, if I had to choose between going up against a gun master or a philosophical psychologist, I think I'd choose a gun master. Is that my free will or is that just how I was always meant to be? A gun master can shoot me, a philosophical psychology blew my mind! It's like everything mi mind based, like is is like literally physical life. Does it not exist? Is it, it's all just mental? Like it's just mental, or is it physical? <laughs> I never thought about this before. This has been the biggest mind fuck of my life. If it's free will, nothing can hurt me unless I choose to let it. Or is it free will because then I'd, I chose to be put in that situation where I would be hurt in some way. And seriously, my philosophical psychology teacher, he's, he's like Doctor Who. He's so smart! And the way he talks is that the same as Doctor Who. And I've I've been left feeling like full of tiny whiny stuff and tiny whiny stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff is a good word. 
But just think about the love about philosophical psychology. You never think of certain stuff. Well, that's actually fucking genuine now. Alright, Timmy. Now you guys listen to me and you're gonna listen good. You go out there and you do philosophical psychology. You could you could say it's your destiny or you could say it's your choice. Either way you go out there and you'll do it. What fucking accent was that? I love you, Tommy. Did I say Timmy or Tommy? You get the point. Go to the psychology. I can't wait for next Friday. And next Wednesday and next Monday. I love all my modules. It's a good feeling.